do you think Brexit is going to bring some good things? Uh, it's difficult. <laughs> It's, it's difficult to say. I mean, uh, probably uh, at the origin of Brexit is a misunderstanding on many things. The relationship between the UK and Europe, the role of the UK in the world. I think this will, will, will be clarified in the you know, first two, three years uh, of Brexit. Either the UK can you know, work as a standalone, uh, or it will start having agreements again, in particular with Europe, that will make it very close and so close that, in fact, the difference between being in and out will not be that, that different. Because if you sit at a table, negotiating table with uh, Mr. Trump in front, he represents uh, a market of uh, 400 million people. You represent a market of 60. It's going to be very, very difficult for you to win that discussion. Um, if instead you sit representing 500 million people, and maybe you're only one of the participants, maybe you, you get more out of it. I think th this, you know, in any democracy, you want to try. You want to try to see if you can do it better by yourself. And maybe, maybe the UK is right. Uh, I have some doubts uh, as the world is evolving, uh, with China on you know, one side, with clear view about the world, how it will develop in the next uh, 20, 30 years. In the UK, in the, in the US, you know, America first is not just an invention by Trump. I don't think that a democratic president will be any more lenient uh, on trade. There will be, you know, the America first concept is not, is not only a Trump concept. And so we are in Europe in, in the middle and, and we have a role to play, I think, if we are united. Okay, the UK people, maybe the British people think that this may not be the case. We will see what will happen in, in the next two, three, four years. If I'm right, the UK will, will come back and join the European Union in, in 10 to 15 years' time. You think that's going to happen? I think the British people are very pragmatic. I mean, they, uh, if sure. they think that, uh, that they can have... I, th I think Britain had a very good deal inside the European Union. They, they were in the largest market, very successful. London is the financial center of the euro area. Uh, many investments, uh, a lot of influence. Um, the impression was that you didn't really have the control of the situation. But in today's world, it's difficult to have the control on everything because we are in a global world, as we were told. So you have to work with others. You have to cooperate with others. You have to convince others. 